running this wolf for a peak power and it handled it very well. Whole car will flex on the lows including windshield and even my windshield wipers jump. Very good wolf fur for the cost. Nothing bad to say about them other than they almost destroyed my wife's Audi Q5. They're some badass speakers and will definitely get more. The shipping was amazing and quick. The sub was very safe while shipping because they have it in three boxes. The sub itself is way better than I imagined. It's huge and really heavy. It sounds amazing. Funny thing is, that was before the break-in. It's only started to sound better over the time I've owned it. Highly recommend to anyone looking for a budget build. Lots of bang for your buck. Best subwoofer for the price. I have one DDX in my 2001 Jeep Wrangler in a custom box too. 5 feet cubed tuned to 33 HDT and it hits hard. On the lower notes my windshield moves a little just to give a perspective on how much air this 12 is pushing only thing I can say is if you want its best performance tune the box around 36-38 HZT. But overall this subwoofer is amazing just make sure you meet the airspace requirements or it won't preform as well. I'm very pleased with this sub. It sounds great. I have it hooked up to a SCAR RP1500 mono block amp. It's in installed in a cube bomb ported box. So glad I took a chance and went with SCAR I was not sure at first but SCAR audio you have really outdone yourself quality 9 slash 10 beauty 10 tenths power 9 tenths. Good job all around. I would for sure recommend this product. This is a brand you are gonna wanna advertise. Very happy with this sub. Installed in a vented one. 8 cubic foot enclosure 10 to 35 HZ and it's low. I don't think it can be made for the price. Install in a proper box and you won't be disappointed. Running these at 2 ohm on a Rockville DB15 2 channel. Literally replaces these from punch P3s. Love the lows and the quality base it gives. No rasp, or BS. I was skeptical at first but I am a believer. Very good wolf for pro. I went from a mismatched system of a Rockford P2 D212 and a CT Sans Tropo D412 to just this 112 and all I can say is wow. It's worth the money 100% exclamation mark update, I installed this in a 2. 15 feet cube box tuned to 32 Hz and a SCAR audio LP 1000. 1 DV2. 112 at half gain makes my dashboard, steering wheel, door window, and trunk flex. It gets so much better as it breaks in. I've been very impressed with this subwoofers. They handle a true 2000 WRMS between the two 12 inches woofers I have installed in the rear of my Honda Fit. Excellent quality. I'm enjoying them thus far. I have a SCAR RP2000. 1D running 2 4 ohm duo voice foil 12s in parallel at 1 ohm total impedance. It's hard to believe the subwoofer costs $160. The build quality is top notch. It has a high roll surround, stitched surround, the tinsel leaves are woven into the spider, super heavy motor structure and basket. All things you usually see on a much more expensive woofer. I built a ported box to SCAR audio specs, too. 5 cubic foot net internal volume with a 32 inch 2 port 19 inches long. I did a 1. 5 inch front baffle to reduce any flex. The woofer is being powered by a Rockford Fosgate BD1001 CP that's rated at 1483 RMS at 1 ohm. So far I'm extremely pleased with the low end frequency response and the overall accuracy of the woofer. It's incredibly loud and quite powerful. I don't hear the sub struggle whatsoever even when I really hammer on it. It can be a little sloppy on some more rapid bass notes, but I attribute most of that to the fact that it's in a giant ported box. 
Being a first time customer to Scar Audio I was a little skeptical on what I was getting just because the prices are so competitive. But I'm pleasantly surprised, I would definitely recommend Scar Audio to anyone who is on the fence. On another good note, shipping was fast, 3 days from the time I ordered. And like the other reviews have said, the wolf fur came in 3 boxes, one larger Amazon box with some paper padding, and then two separate Scar Audio boxes. The subwoofer motor is packaged in a big piece of formed foam that keeps it from moving, along with a piece of cardboard with foam on the cone and surround of the woofer. Inside all of that is the woofer wrapped in a plastic bag. So needless to say the woofer came without damage and in perfect condition. Sorry if this was a little long-winded, hope someone finds it helpful. Have fun base heads, rock on gesture. Terminals need to be placed differently. Click link in description for more reviews.